Hi, in this quick video, I will show how do I upload my code into a bare API chip like this at Mega 16A without using any bootloader. There are a bunch of ways explained in the internet to do this, but I found this method as uh, most convenient for me, specifically as I don't have an AVR programmer. First thing first, the Arduino IDE doesn't come with an uh, at Mega 16A listed under its board manager. So I will go to File preferences additional board manager urls i will paste here the link for an additional board manager package which contain at mega 16. this link i will provide in the video description now if i go to the tools board manager i will find here mighty core i will install this package Now I can find at Mega 16 under board menu. But before going to that Mega 16, I need to uh, prepare my Arduino Uno board, which I'm going to use as an ISP programmer. To do this, I'm plugging in the Uno board, file, example, Arduino ISP. I will upload this sketch into the Arduino Uno. Now this Arduino board will uh, work like an ISP programmer. Now I will write the code for at Mega 16A. Since I want to write my code in assembly language, I will go to the sketch folder uh, at Mega 16A underscore assemblylay. Then I will copy and paste to the INO file and rename it as at Mega 16A underscore ASM underscore delay dot S. And that is leaving the extension, the name is exactly same as the dot INO file. I came back to the Arduino IDE, file, open, and open up the .s file. Now this .s file will contain the assembly code. So I cleaned it, and in the .ino file, under an extern C linkage specification block, I am declaring two functions, one for initialization such as IO pin setup, ADC setup, etc., and another is an infinite loop. In void setup, the initialization function, and in void loop, the infinite loop function. That's all in the .ino file. Now in the .s file, first uh, define the special function register offset as zero. Include io.h header file. I'm defining the initialization and infinite loop function as global so that the linker and the C compiler can find them while compiling the .ino file. Rest of the code is for blinking an LED connected uh, with pin number 1 of at mega 16A at an interval of 100 millisecond. Now the upload time. I have hooked up that mega 16A in a breadboard. A 16 megahertz crystal oscillator in pin number 12 and 13, two 22 picofarad ceramic capacitors for noise filtering. Pin number 10 is the VCC pin, so I'm connected it to plus 5 volt rail. Pin number 11 is the ground pin and connected to the ground rail. An LED in pin number 1 through a 1 kilo ohm register. Now I took the Arduino Uno and connected plus 5 to the plus 5 rail and ground to the ground rail in the breadboard. In Atmega 16A, pin number 6, 7, 8 and 9 are MOSI, MISHO, SCK and RESET pins. So I'm connecting uh, to the Arduino as MOSI to D11, MISHO to D12, SCK to D13 and RESET to D10. In the Arduino IDE, tools, board, my T core at mega 16. Clock, external 16 megahertz. Uh, Browner detection at 2.7 volt is okay. Bootloader, no bootloader. Programmer, Arduino as ISP. Now I can upload the code into the at mega 16A chip.
and as you can see the LED is blinking so the code is working fine. In my previous sine wave inverter project I have used peak microcontroller but in my future project I am planning to use AVR microcontroller. That's why I'm trying to have a grip on programming the AVR chip. And as the first step of learning, I was searching for an easy method for programming the AVR chip. And I didn't want to use the bootloader because I wanted to save that space in the program memory for the main code. And so far I found this method as to be the easiest one. But if you know any, uh, any better way of programming and bare AVR chip, please let me know in the comment section. Hope you found this video interesting. If so, please like this video and consider subscribing this channel. I'll be meeting in the next video. Bye.